I met Error Beans, I think it was on July. No, I think it was on May 2007 when my, when I met Error Beans. I went to, well, first Claudio Fuentes, who was my coach at the time, he introduced me to a counselor at Napa Valley College, but I didn't have a job at the time. He told me I had to go. It was a good opportunity to go to, go to college. I was not thinking about go, going to college on that year. That was going to be my second year not going to college after graduating from high school. So he told me to go see, I don't remember her name. Uh, she's a counselor at Napa, Napa Valley College. Uh, in the same office was Edward Beans uh, in the career center. So. I told him my situation, that I didn't have a job and it was going to be hard for me to be going to college and, and barely having enough money to pay for a room because I, uh, I was living um, on my own. Uh, my family is in Mexico and has been there uh, all the time. Uh, I got here, when I got here seven years ago, I got here with my brother. I separated from him um, three months before graduating from high school. Barely made it to graduate from high school um, because I didn't even have money for the cap and gown. I had to borrow from a friend. So going back to the main thing, I met Ever Beans uh, there in that office. Um, he told me he was going to help me find a job. He he told me the address and I think he gave me the phone number and I didn't call, I just got to the place, asked for an application. Uh, the person who I saw first in the, in the place was Gloria Pinkston. And, uh, I asked her for an application form. I thought she didn't speak Spanish, but when I started to talk to her, she noticed I didn't speak English very well. So she started to speak to me in Spanish. So she told me that the owners were not there. Uh, she, I think she told me to go there. I think she told me to leave my information, and so I did. Then I got a call from Kurisuki, the owner. Uh, then he told me to go on a Monday. Uh, then I went on a, on a Monday morning. Uh, with my documents, my ident identification and everything. So I filled out the application form. Then I started to work on that same day. And from there that was a... Uh, that's when everything started to change uh, for me because I didn't have hopes to go to school or or hopes for a good future. I, w I knew I at some point I was gonna start doing good and start improving my living situation, my, my, my English skills and all skills and probably go to school for, to have a better future or do something, something big in my life. Uh, because I've always had thoughts like for helping other people. So that's why I, that's the main thing. That pushes me to, to go to school. So the first person to who helped me to to try to make that step was Claudio Fuentes. Then the next person was Error Beans, and then it was the then it was the, the job that I got. And in that job were involved Kurt Suzuki, Rebecca. Gloria, Nick, uh, all the people that I learned from, um, those were people who who have been important in in my way through college. Now I'm I'm transferring to a four-year four-year institution, which is I think the like the the last step I'm gonna take, not the last one, but one of the most important ones, the big one. 
and where I'm gonna meet more people that are gonna be important through life and who are gonna help me to help other people. So like the main point of this story is that I, on each step I'm been making there have been important people and I already mentioned uh, most of them. So yeah that's that's basically it.